How you doing, everybody? Uh, good morning. Um, I wanted to just share with you um, something that is in, in so dear to me because I am a long form content creator. And of course, you see from the popular um, how to grow your YouTube channel and how to to uh, get a thousand, you know, uh, members in two hours and things of that nature. You got, you know, spearheaded by Think Media and many other um, shield organizations like that. Like, no real disrespect, but that was a, that was kind of cruel to say shield, but it is what it is. So anyway, um, came across this article and this is from uh, TubeBuddy, which I highly recommend if you're going to start a YouTube channel or if you're just, um, well, you should start a YouTube channel or you're, you have a YouTube channel and you want to see a deeper uh, view of your analytics and things of that nature. And let me tell you, I went through this all yesterday and my God, my head was was well i mean it was it, it was so much information going on. so i started to take my time and kind of drill down into the things that i want to learn first and kind of go through step by step but that's not the reason i made the video um the video came because being a long-form creator and looking at my analytics to see okay well is long-form content hurting my channel you know so as i'm sitting there thinking it and of course you start if you allow those other uh, YouTube creator channels that tell you you can get a thousand, you know, subscribers in 30 seconds and things of that nature. If it if if it doesn't align, and I'm not saying what they're saying is not true. I'm not. They possibly could do that. Absolutely. But for people like me, whose niche is not making cat videos, Logan Paul videos, reaction videos, mukbang videos, it pranks. I don't do those things those companies don't help me. but i tell you what does help is when you get to see the impact of what these think media types are doing now what listen to this this is from uh two filter this is like their uh this is in their app by the way so listen to this content post on the youtube's uh tiktok challenger shorts now collectively brings more than 30 billion views per day that's a big deal there's a lot of youtubers that that really push um making shorts and and, and get your name out there even i've thrown my, my 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 little stuff in the basket however listen to this it's 30 billion views per day and that's a problem during alphabet's latest quarterly earnings call cfo ruth per porat or Perey said YouTube is seeing a slight headwind to revenue growth as the shorts viewership grows as percentage of total YouTube time. It's doing damage. Isn't that shocking? Isn't it amazing that the fact that I was sitting there thinking, looking at shorts and I just made a video about that. I'm not plugging my video, but it's plugged now about why the attention span that is being conditioned and promoted by YouTube and TikTok and Instagram is going to do far more damage than it would do good. I don't like being a prophet, but I, I knew this was coming. I knew this was coming. Basically, YouTube Short is pulling so much attention that it's leeching viewership from the platform's bread and butter long form content. People like me and you. So cool for YouTube in terms of competing with TikTok, but an issue because unlike long form content, shorts aren't studded with re re revenue earning ads, at least not yet. So for shorts to become profitable to YouTube, they got a way to put an ad in there. Now, how fast do you think that that's going to turn off shorts? Now, again, I am not a market expert. I am not this algorithm expert. I'm not, I don't have any of this knowledge that YouTube has with all the, 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 the resource they have at, it. I, I get that. I'm not even trying to say that I'm making a prediction that the minute you start monetizing the, the, because you know, that's pretty much what's going to happen. When you start monetizing those shorts, the shorts will turn right back into what we see normally cookie cutter, boring, snippets from something that's already been said and then we're back at square one
YouTube wants to close the gap between monetization of short and long form content. Let's see what the Alphabet CEO has to say. Uh, Porat or Pere and Alphabet CEO Sundar Sundar both confirm YouTube is working on testing ads for shorts. Pero said the platform has its eye on closing the gap between monetization of long form content and monetization of shorts. She added that earlier advertiser feedback and results are encouraging. Uh, I.e., it's not bad. It's just not great. And it's being weighed that way. Because, and I can tell you without a doubt, that's exactly what they're thinking. Why? Because there wasn't an outrage or an outpour. People going, well, I just don't want to do that or it's not working. There's a little bit of movement. However, listen to this. Monitor, monetizing short term, short form content has been a problem for well forever. It was a major hampering hurdle for Vine. Yep. And TikTok struggled to woo advertisers for years. Facts. On the creator side, brand on the creator side, brand deals are harder for them to secure when they simply don't have the space to put something sponsoring companies minute long marketing spiels at the top of their videos. I'm glad they wrote it that way. Marketing spiels. Now, I am not against sponsorship. I'm not against any of those things. Oh, hey, more power to you. If you if you get a sponsor and you you get to plug a uh, men's something men's uh, scrub your genital area with uh bath bombs on the go i don't whatever it is great for you if it's going to help you earn money and keep you financially independent and you can continue to grow your business in social media and on youtube i'm i'm all for it ain't nothing wrong with that but when the advertiser and the advertiser is the one that set the rules they may they may get on the youtube yes youtube tells them you know how much it's going to cost and this that and the third but the advertisers are the ones that say guess what you don't do it this way we don't do it you don't do it this way we don't do it. So it's a really tenuous relationship for the most part. Now you're going to ask people. Now, only Geico can, can get away with those five second, 10 second commercials. But then it also takes away. You only got like, what, another 30 seconds if you're lucky, because since attention span is dropping, making a 60 second video and you got to put five to 10 seconds to add a plug in there, you can see where this just gets bad. So I just wanted to uh, let me see if there's anything else of, 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 of joy in this. Um, and I, this is, again, you know, I'm unscripted. I do not script. I like to be in the moment when something is happening. That's just the way that I can function. Uh, anytime I start writing scripts and start trying to follow a roadmap that is set aside, I sound as wooden as. Yeah, I'm not going to go that route, but I'm wooden. So as long as I'm staying in this form and this free form, I can come to come to you when things like this hit me, that sparks me. So let's look real quick and I'll close this out. We've extensively covered how TikTok and YouTube creators can make money off their short term content. But TikTok and shorts differ in that TikTok now has a thriving ad business to make money for itself off users content. While on YouTube, monetization is flowing toward creators via the shorts fund, but no revenue is going to YouTube. It's not clear how YouTube plans for ads to work on shorts. TikTok runs ads between videos, so it doesn't risk the potential of why is my ad running on questionable content, balking from marketers, and also doesn't do revenue splitting with creators based on views. Their videos generate. YouTube could go with that model, or it could, as it does with long -term, long form content, run ads directly on creators' videos. The latter, seems less likely now not to bore you to tears with the rest of this but this is fascinating and interesting news for people like me and people like you who not only consume long-form content but actually make long uh, and also make long-form content because i know for me i have a lot of my subscribers they do enjoy the the hour to sometimes two hour uh content that is on that is on the channel uh whether it's christian based or whether it's the center's commentary they they it gives a person an opportunity it's kind of like an e uh, what do you call it? what do you call those uh, like audible you know some people like to sit back relax and sit there at work and they just they want to hear the stream of thought that is coming from the creator and they, it's, it's background they can listen they can stop it they can come back to it and it could take two or three hours out of their day or bring two or three hours of joy to their day and that's the kind of feedback that i get and that kind of feedback 
inspires me to continue to do the deep dives that I like to do. And I hope that as as long form content consumers that you'd want to support these type of creators, because I've seen I've looked at smaller creators. I got to go a scour to go look for them because I want to see is the is it is the algorithm actually hurting itself by not giving these young, small create these most young, small channels. They're just do when they're making fantastic content. I'm not just saying because I would benefit from it, but there are some real good, talented folks under there that may not have the lighting, the sound or the editing software, but their content is solid. So listening and, and listening to to or, or reading this, reading this article, I, I come away with some encouragement, but I'm a, I'm a little but I'm a little worried. Because if YouTube goes and here's the thing. If YouTube doesn't continue to give revenue share to their to their creators, let's let's be honest, that's going to shoot them in the foot and it's going to original content. YouTube won't be any better than Hulu or Netflix if they don't do something. So they if they do that, if they go down that route, so they have to continue their revenue sharing. However, when it comes to the shorts, I just don't know what they're going to do. I personally don't like shorts. I don't find any joy in shorts. They're hilariously silly. Uh, maybe that's their point, but I get nothing from it. I I'm, I don't, my mind doesn't work that way. I don't, old fogey. No, I just don't, I just don't think there's much creation in 15 seconds. If you can pull it off, amen, brother, but I don't get no entertainment, but I'm not saying there's not an audience for that. And if that's what you're doing, boo-boo, you keep doing it. For me, creators like me and people that consume content that's long form, this is some interesting news. So I'm intrigued to see what YouTube will do especially the YouTube shillers who who promote people to work with the algorithm, which is, again, not necessarily bad, but at the cost of their passion and the actual content that they want to make. Now, real quick, I'm going to drop this subject and just kind of, well, it might be related, but, you know, I've watched a lot of YouTubers go from, you know, zero to 100 to 500 to a thousand 10k 27k and i've watched them I was like man that is good for him good for her amazing but i also notice once they get to about I'm not saying all of them but once they start getting to like the 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 50k and the 60k i always notice they start branching and they start talking about this is the actual content i really want to make and i really want to go down this route i'm not going to stop doing these kind of things but i'm going to go down this road because this is where my passion is you see, th this is what the think medias and those kind of gurus cause people to do. We have to not only work, work in an algorithm that is designed and built to keep butts in seats, which is, again, awesome. It's the type of content that they want to make popular, that's YouTube, what's going to bring the most eyes. And again, I can't complain about that. That's awesome. But again, we won't see the creator that has original ideas. It's going to be hard for us to find those that have those 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 death defying, uh, breathtaking videos and and deep dive. There are some people that can put together documentaries right now that could rival Hollywood. But with them being so far down the algorithm based on a lot of different factors, we just don't come across them. And so many start a channel. And then a ch they let their channel die because the fight is that that uphill fight is rough. I get it. And so a lot of times I go to support a young, a, a, you know, younger channel, small creative channel. And I join them and I send them a, a send them some encouragement. That thing is like three, four, five years old. They just stopped. And that worries me because if we don't crash the boards, if small content creators like myself and others that are keep that are continuing to come along, and then get discouraged because of the think media types. That's that's harm. That does more harm to YouTube than than we think. Why? Because people like me who are not entertained by cat videos. I just that look, I got to I got to go to my tried and true. I got to go back to cops. I got to go back because, you know, it's kind of shocking. And when people see my YouTube feed, when they see what comes across my dashboard, they are surprised compared to the content that I create. That's on purpose. That's exactly on purpose. And guess what? A lot of creators I see that's on my main dashboard are not on most, probably not on about 80% of the others. Not because I curate this special thing, but I go purposely looking for small content creators 
And guess what? I figured out a way to find them to see what's out there that I'm not seeing, you know, because I'm tired of seeing the same thing come across my feed. So I had to really make a choice. And in that, I learned something that allowed me to make the last video about about uh, think media and the conditioning and selfish content. And then when I see things like this today, I'm on the right track, baby. So I just want to make this quick video for you. I love you very much. If you like, if you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. It definitely helps the channel support small content creators. If we, without we're like small business without us. It just don't go forward. Love you very much. I will see you guys soon. I'm praying for you. And man, this is some good news for long form creators. Buckle up.